Let's expand and simplify x minus 1 times x minus 2, and we'll use the distributive law to do this. One way to help us remember that is the FOIL method here. We'll take the first term, that's the x times the x here, that gives us x squared. Then we take the outside term, x times negative 2, that gives us a negative 2x. Inside, negative 1 times x, that's a negative x. And then the last term, we have negative 1 times negative 2. Negative times a negative, that gives us a positive. So we get positive 2 here. We have negative 2x and negative x. We can combine these terms here. So we end up with x squared minus 3x plus 2. So when we expand and simplify x minus 1 times x minus 2, this is what we end up with. We could factor this. If we factor this, we'd end up with x minus 1 times x minus 2. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.